hey, 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 Fisty Man reporting. Yes, it's been a while. It has been a while. I've been to a few gigs, but to be honest, I've spoken, probably spoken about them before. But anyway, big night out. Wednesday, it was Nathaniel Ratliff and the night sweats. I keep going to call them the wet drinks, but it's the night sweats. An amazing band that uh, I was introduced to by John McCurry from the fabulous Johnny Box cars earlier on in the year. And they really have caught everyone's imagination. They did Glastonbury and I absolutely love the album. So the big night came and like, we got in just slightly late and the first band was on. I didn't really know, but I liked it. And uh, Barilla, who was with me, um, so oh, not really my cup of tea. I found out afterwards it was Ed Harcourt, but I really did like the guy. You know, just he did some loop work, brilliant. You know, I couldn't understand the lyrics, but hey, I know I can. But anyway, Nathaniel Ratliff come on, and he just did the whole uh, album uh, plus a few new tunes. He's got a new EP out, and just slick professional. And this isn't a complaint. It's quite strange actually, because. The album seems to convey a more excitement about it. You know, just, um, I think he's probably quite a reserve guy and the band did their best, but the sort of music, they just, you know, the crowd went wild, I went wild, I knew, I knew words to the songs, I really did, I could sing along. Much to the amusement of, uh, and the annoyance of uh, Barilla. Uh, yeah, 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 just clapping. It was, it was brilliant, you know, to go and see someone that professional and just, the, the sound system was spot on, which is always a complaint about the um, O2 Guildhall in Southampton, that the sound, but the sound was spot on. We was right down the front. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing. Uh, went the whole hog, booked a hotel, brilliant. We went down to Enio's, fabulous. I can recommend it to everyone. Yeah, um, so if you get a chance to go and see Nathaniel Ratliff, do it. Do it. I suppose what it is, I just have been spoiled with very lively bands and I like to dance to them. And I did dance, I did dance, but it wasn't anything missing. It wasn't missing. I just wanted a little bit of extra sparkle, I suppose. You know, the guy was just, I can't say it enough. They were professional, they, you know, hit all the right notes. What would they be? Uh, if there was on X Factor, they would say, yeah, they were on point. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, Festy Man is. Oh God, I must admit I've been. I've changed jobs. Um, I'm thinking of moving. I've had a lot on my mind, so I haven't always felt like I was in the best mood to do any of these. But I'm, you know, I'm feeling good again, and I should be doing them because everybody. How wonderful of you to say. I mean, afterwards, a lot of the Festy family were there, and the first thing he said, oh, you're gonna do one, you're gonna do one. I bumped into uh, Dino Mathias from my boys, the Backwater Roll Blue Band, and he even mentioned, oh yeah, you gotta do one. He'd had a few gins, so he wanted us to do one there. But uh, uh, no, so yes, um, I was supposed to go and see Bloody Hell. What about this then? I was going to see King King last night with another band who I come across, Broken Whip Rebels, the Birmingham band. They look excellent. And King King, well, if you know anything about blues rock, they are the top boys. But Stephen Nimmo apparently had his um, throat operation. I didn't know, you know, I was going to go along. I thought, oh shit, you know, like, because I thought it was the Talking Heads. It wasn't, it was the 1865. Well, do you know what? I'd better see if I'm buying tickets. Fuck off! Fucking hell, sorry, but. Oh, he was right over my side of the road. Jesus Christ, I almost said the C word then. I was right, Charlie. <laughs> so anyway, I, I just thought, well, I better, and I couldn't find any information. In the end, no website or anything, I had to ring the management company. You know, that's it. I've got the contacts. Festy Man's got the contact in the music world. Rings up his management company, and I says, yeah, what's the, what's the game then? So, oh, Stephen, because he, you know, Stephen said uh, operation, so we cancelled it. I said, do you know there's no notice or anything? He says, they're not, no. So, that was it. I was uh, fully expecting to have a great night out. Um, but no, so what did I do? I stayed in, hit the whiskey, with the cider. <laughs> I told you it's been a bit stressful lately. I haven't been eating a bottle, but yeah. So, there was going to be a good one last night. There was going to be lots of dancing to that, but they're now back in um, January or February. Uh, right, so tonight, huge one. I'm going to pictures. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, good to be back, guys and girls. Um, 
let's see what's coming up. There is quite a bit coming up, especially with the Christmas period. Sadly, backwater old blue span don't have any, but we've got the Christmas do coming up. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. So shall I sneeze on camera? No, I'm not. Goodbye. Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh, oh God. <laughs> nice sneeze, not a cold type of sneeze. So yeah. Um, Barilla, oh my God, what a trooper that girl is. She had this most awful, awful cold, but she came out, she dosed herself up, um, you know, didn't uh, suffer at all. So um, yes, what have we got coming up? What have we got coming up? We have got, we have got Dirty Diesel Outlaw Orchestra. Oh, Jimmy Chills launches his new album later on this month look out for it look out for it. jimmy chills it's gonna be like johnny boxcars are backing them up it's an amazing album jimmy chills uh plays in uh the cat rashers and this is a complete departure this is his own music uh a lot more mellow uh, great solo artist if you like the cat rashers this is going to take you by surprise uh yeah so looking forward to that. that's gonna be a great one uh and do you know what all the years i've lived in um Southampton, i've never been to the joiners never been to the joiners how can you say that you love music steve you love live music you never been to the gen the, 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 the gents the joiners uh yeah how could that happen uh, it's number one son i think yeah right uh, i'm finally gonna go this has been an extended version six minutes 34 seconds and counting uh do you know what i was thinking today i'd like some opinion on this beer do you know i walked past the shop window today and as you do you check yourself out think oh, yeah, i'm feeling a bit cool i thought i looked bloody old so what do you reckon keep the beard or not uh do you know what i would like is these bits to go i'd like it to be like white white that'd be quite stunning wouldn't it Anyway, rambling, which is what I do. Uh, people are looking at me now, s sitting around, uh, wondering. So, peace out. Yeah, look, I had to go to a finger specialist the other day. It's still there. It was technical terms for it. What's happened to it? Bloody painful it is. I still can't grip that. And I fell over. I fell over, you know, and I just, I've never had anything like it. You just about see the swelling, can't you? It's gone down quite a bit, but um, you don't want to know that, do you? So, uh, can you feel the love? Oh yeah, Robbie Williams is playing St Mary's. I won't be going at those bloody prices unless he invites me along. But uh, can you feel the love? Peace out.